In this video I'm going to be testing all these acrylics on my Xtool P2 laser, cutting, engraving and scoring, so let's see how this 55 watt CO2 laser handles them all. I have decided to purchase a bunch of different samples just to test this machine and I'm linking the shop where I bought them from in the description box below this video. Also just to let you know if you would like to see what else I use with my lasers, like the inline fan, air purity meter, fire extinguisher, I have now set up my own Amazon storefronts. One is US and one UK and you will be able to see most of the things I use on there. But even if you are based in the US, check out the UK storefront too, as I live in the UK and shop on the UK Amazon and so there are a lot more products I use on there. Even if it's just for your reference and you don't plan to purchase anything from Amazon. And of course the Xtool P2 is linked below as well and so is my first P2 video. So although the acrylics are all different, they are all cast acrylics and approximately 3 mm in thickness. There is only one piece which is a lot thicker where I change the settings. Other than that, I pretty much use the auto measure feature and that measured the acrylics for me. I use the honeycomb panel as you can see and set it up as process on slats in the Xtool creative space. I haven't bothered with keeping track of the processing time as I was mainly cutting the acrylics and that was really fast, like 10 seconds to cut earrings for example. But engraving, as you will see soon, did take a little bit longer than cutting.
cuts were in my opinion really beautiful smooth even on the glitter acrylics i've also tested clear and iridescent acrylics as well as opaque colors and those also cut really well on the p2 so i made this lamp in my previous p2 video i just wanted to show you how it can cut and engrave clear acrylic the only thing to mention is the smell i've noticed that certain acrylics have a stronger smell for example the iridescent one and i would definitely recommend you using some air filtration unit ventilate your room well and also use a special mask when cutting acrylics or vent outside using an inline fan if you have the chance but the smell is very strong so make sure you do have the outside space to do so without putting other people in danger again you can refer to my uk amazon storefront where you will see all the items i have purchased and i'm happy with you can also watch my first video on the Extool P2 where I'm mentioning a lot of details and sharing all the accessories I have purchased to use with this machine. This piece of acrylic is about 4mm thick and I kept the settings the same, only changed the thickness. But it didn't cut all the way through. So I placed this sample back on the machine and tried to cut it again. I aligned the design with the initial cut using the close capture feature. This time I changed the settings and it cut through nicely and precisely. And here is another example of how precise this machine is. Again, using a close capture, I'm adding additional holes into these already cut pieces.
the result is perfect, just what I needed. Now I can make these into cool earrings. First, I glued the different colors together with super glue, and after it bonded, I grabbed some 24 gauge wire and secured the two sides just in case. Then I added ear wires and look at them cool earrings and how they match my tie-dye sweatshirt. So I'm very impressed with how this machine handled all these acrylics and it has so much business potential in my opinion. I do like this machine a lot. And now coupled with my new Xtool F1 Ultra Fiber Laser, it's a very powerful combo indeed. And as for all these little pieces I cut today, I'm thinking of making like a one-off jewelry making kit with all this in and you will be able to find it in my Etsy shop. If you have enjoyed this video, give it like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time, bye!